Hi folks, good day to you all. I am Dr. Ezekiah Babatunde. This moment I want to briefly discuss with you about the danger behind insulting men of God who are called into ministries. Okay, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing those oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Acts of Apostles chapter 10 verse 38 God anointed Christ Jesus to save, to heal and to deliver. Jesus Christ was killed. God raised him up by his glory by spirit and is at the right hand of God in heaven. Angels and authorities and powers have all been made subject to him. He's at the right hand of the majesty on high, far above all principalities and powers. Right now, God is empowering men and women across the world to continue the works that Jesus Christ left behind. Angels will not come down and do the work for us. God needed God needs men and women to represent him, to function as apostles, as prophets, as evangelists, as teachers and as pastors. Now there are some men of God in my country Nigeria where I grew, grew up from. These men of God carry deadly anointing, dreadful anointing. And it is very, very dangerous for you to go about insulting them or speaking ill about them. Because they represent God. They are doing the work of God. The heavens know, heaven knows about their callings. And their assignment, their ministry may not be clear to all. Now, if you don't understand something, the best thing is to keep quiet about it. Stop saying ne things negative about a man of God. It is not good. There is a, there is a particular incident in the scripture in the uh, Christian Bible when Aaron, Aaron and Miriam, who are actually seniors to Moses, the prophet, spoke against him. And Miriam became a leper. And Moses, the, young, the, the youngest of the family, had to pray for her to be healed. Some men also, Korah, Datan, and Abiram, conspired against Moses. And the land opened up and swallowed them up with all their family members. Please, if you don't understand something about the man of God, Stop acting based on information you are hearing from people. The world doesn't think. They close their eyes and they open their mouth wide. And whatever enters their mouth, that's what it hits. But it is time for us to close our mouths and open our eyes and think about what we hear. Some men of God in Nigeria that are very, very that are anointed that are called of God. But people, but people speak about against them. Some of them are Pastor E. E. Adeboye, Prophet T. B. Joshua, Apostle Suleiman, Doctor D. K. Ulukoya, Pastor Kumuyi of Deeper Life, several prophets of God across several states in Nigeria are actually call of God. Time will not permit me to list all of them. But please, it doesn't cost you anything to keep quiet if you don't understand them. Speaking against men of God is a first class ticket to grave. It is very dangerous. Please, you don't have anything to lose by keeping quiet. May God bless you all. In Jesus' name.